and welcome back folks to yet another exciting episode of Creeper World. It's time to go to Draco. The next in line of five worlds that we got from the artifact we found on Cetus. Draco or Draco whatever. This world was barely inhabitable before the creeper got here. Now it's just a horror to behold. Get us off this rock as quickly as you can, Commander. Scanners do show another artifact. Try to pick it up, but don't let it delay our escape. We are perched on the edge of a giant caldera. The idea of being caught in a creeper volcano sends shivers down my spine. Yeah, it's just a big hole in the ground. Alright, let's start with the... Uh, oh! Oh, damn it! Yeah, that's where the creeper's coming from. That could be a problem. Okay, well, we're gonna build a network along this hill, I guess. I suppose we need to unlock this area as well. Yeah, this will fill up pretty quickly if here. Might get tricky. So we're definitely gonna build a mortar here and a mortar here and hopefully around this whole place because there are four creeper nodes or whatever you want to call those. Uh, it's already reached this layer. Look at this. That's pretty insane. Okay. I guess we can build a blaster and then move it here to drive the creeper back and then put push it into that I don't know, is that another caldera? Probably not, it's probably just the hillside, basically. Look at this, this is ridiculous. It's already connecting to everything. Alright. Now, yes, I will need to conquer this area if I want to build any sort of collector network, because uh, there's just too much here. Yeah, Alright, so let's build the collector down here. And then push down with the blaster. And hopefully this will actually be enough to hold back the creeper a little bit. Oh, it's really quick. It's really quick! Damn it. Right, now let's uh, actually extend our network. And it's already reached the artifact, which is not good either. I'm just gonna move over here. Then construct a new system of collectors here. Yeah, this should work. I hope this stuff remains down in the uh, in the actual caldera for a little while. Because only then can we really push along the edge of the crater. Right. So, this is not bad. Let's build some storage units. Like maybe five. And then we will beat so build some speed upgrades too. After they are done. In the meantime, we can expand here and also build a blaster that is down there, yeah. And then we can just push towards the artifact secondarily. Uh oh, running out. Running out of energy here. Don't do this to me. Okay, the deficit is low enough, I think. And now that the storage units are done, it should also lower itself quite nicely. I do want to build even more collectors, because that means more energy, <laughs> obviously. Right, don't have much... No, I don't have any deficit. This is very good. I think we are we are on a good path here. But I definitely do need to increase the speed. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's spilling, it's spilling! And it shut off the connection, of course. Right, uh... I need to get this over here and build a relay to reconnect. Yeah, it's not that easy, apparently. 
And I also need to speed up crits like crazy because I'm overextending myself a bit. Uh, five speed up crits, that should do it. So these are lost pretty much immediately. But with the relays, we will get back to expanding here, I think. Yeah, okay, the speed upgrades will help once they're here. Again, I'm running quite a deficit, but that's because of all these speed upgrades I'm running at the same time. But the moment they are done, I should be alright. Uh oh. This may have been a mistake building them all at the same time. Yeah, these turrets are really on the very edge, basically. Yeah, almost going... Uh oh. Right. Retreating. There we go. And now the speed will help a lot. Okay. So I guess it was a bit risky, but it's hopefully gonna pay off. Or maybe not, because there's still a lot of creeper coming. Oh, 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 I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This is actually really hard now. Okay, land and shoot. Yes, thank you. And build another blaster. We're gonna have to be more careful about this, I guess. It will take a little bit longer than I'd hoped to actually extend ourselves. We're also gonna build a mortar here to drive back some of this creeper stuff. Okay. I'm not running a deficit, but I'm kinda slow on the refill right now. Why is that? don't understand. I guess I'm not producing enough energy, maybe? No. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. it's reached the highest layer already. I think we're in trouble here. Yep, we are in trouble. Let's build a turret here. And then we can push back in this direction. Please don't do this to me. Right, two more collectors will help. That was to expect it, but if we can hold this line, then we will be all right, I think. And there goes the mortar. It should start knocking at least this one back soon. There we go, it's built. That's what I would like to see. Drive it back. Yes! Really punch into that mass of creeper. Alright. So, let's build another mortar behind this turret so that once it's done, we can actually uh, advance. And plonk it down here so it can do the same thing it's doing over here then. And one blaster to guard the mortar should be alright, I think. Yeah. Okay, time to advance carefully. I'm still kinda at risk right now, but I think we're making some good progress. Yeah. I'm worried about this mass of creeper. It's it's pretty thick. I don't want it to reach up here. That would be horrible. Ah, damn you. I need a mortar already. But this is really helpful, definitely. I should probably also build a mortar here, so it can drive back the creeper in this area. That would be good. Because these turrets are kind of overwhelmed. It's just too much, it's too thick in this area to uh, all be done by blasters. But with some mortar fire on top of that, I think we have a shot at this. 
That could have gone really ugly, but I think we are making some good progress now. Now you go here, and you go here. And there we are. Again, running quite a deficit, but thanks to these mortars, I think we will be alright. And also, we are actually gaining quite a bit of collector coverage now. That will help as well. Sure, let's connect those. It's not a bad idea. And let's advance with our mortar and our turret. There we are. Really hitting the mass of the of the creeper. That should help. Uh, I really need another turret here. To hold back that creeper as well, but oh, that's risky. I need to get rid of this mass. How? Well, I guess it's cutting back here, so it should kind of be driven back slowly, thanks to this mortar fire, which reduces the, the amount that's over here as well. So that can help. I wish I could advance here and here too, but with that one maybe I can. And yeah, I just need more energy really. <sighs> because the deficit is still running quite rampant. Okay, I guess we can build one here and one here. And push a little bit forward at least. Oh yeah. Now we're actually getting a little bit deeper now, this is good. Just gonna put one here just as a... Well, just to gather some more resources and also maybe uh, establish a, a bit of a connection already. Ahead of time. We're not gonna push deep into this cold era yet, but... Might help. Oh, 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 it's too far, too far. There we go. Okay, I still need a blaster that actually reduces the amount of creeper around the artifact. But I think we are making progress. Just a bit more slowly than I had hoped, but that's okay. Right, here we go. So this creeper is now pretty much under control, right? Uh, with two turrets and one mortar. So we advance a little bit further in this direction. Maybe we can do the same here. Can I push this? No. But I can't put this here. There we go. And once this one is charged, I can actually kind of move in here and cut off the creeper in this area. I think, I think we have a pretty good chance at this now. I was a bit worried when everything started to spill up here and down here, but... Uh, yeah, we, we're making progress, and this really helps. And let's also put the mortar down here, and the uh, turret closer to the edge as well. Yeah, this should be okay. Here we are. Oh, now it's really unraveling on this side. This is good. This is very good. It's really helping because it's cutting back here and this stuff all dies. <laughs> you can even say that about Creeper. I'm still not sure what it is, but I think it's a life form in some manner, so it can die. Now it's really being pushed back. Aha, we're gonna reach the artifact momentarily. Good. Good, good, good. Now let's cover all this stuff in collectors. So we can build some more mortars and really bring on the pain <laughs> on the caldera itself. And we're gonna put this one here so it helps control this one. 
And then this one can be put here to protect the artifact. There we go. Should help. And we're gonna place another mortar and another collect no another blaster. There we go. This artifact is a bit of an enigma. Our scientists will have to analyze it for some time before we can learn anything from it. Okay. I guess we're not uh, gonna get any new coordinates anytime soon then. Well, we're just gonna keep fighting. We've got plenty to do in the meantime. And, uh, yeah, okay. Not the best coverage, but it's gonna be a nice network once it's done. It's gonna fill up all these holes that we left in the coverage up until now. There we go. Huge deficit, but I think we are gonna be alright. Simply because we've driven it back so far already. And the high rate of speed is really helpful. Yeah. I'm gonna connect here as well. Just to make sure that if the creeper reaches back up here, it doesn't, you know, immediately eat everything. That would be bad. Alright. Looking good. And we can probably kind of try to crush the creeper from both sides and then get at these... Uh, at these rift totems. Also, I just noticed these are six rift totems this time. One, two, and four more. So six. I don't know why they're getting progressively more of them. I thought you just need three, but uh, I don't know. I don't mind. Right. Well, the network is pretty much done. Uh, the mortar is still not working, though. I think we're gonna wait for the mortar to be finished, and then we can uh, kind of do what we need to do. Uh, whoa, no, 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 don't do that. I want you here. But I do want to build another collector up here, and one up here. And we're gonna head a little bit closer to the creeper. There we are. And the same happens here now. Great! Yeah, this creeper has no shot at survival anymore. Well, that, that's, that's the wrong way of saying it. I mean, we are gonna have to flee here after conquering these totems, but... Let's just say we are making some good progress right now. Okay. Ah, this will work. You can tell. So, if I build a relay here... And uh, not down there, though. And here, and here. Okay. So, these two I can connect immediately, but I still need something to clear out a little bit more creeper in that area. And in this area, too. Go there now. But I think we got this because uh, once these two are charged, there's little left to do. We can easily kill this off, get the relay working, and uh, then also hopefully advance with this turret and put another relay down here, and then everything will be charged. Yeah, we can leave here. Even though we have a high deficit, this works all right. Yep. Could I guess I could build some more speed upgrades, but at this point it, it's not even worth it anymore. We are pretty much done. Just wish I could destroy these nodes, because then I could actually, you know, fight back. And maybe even take a, uh, a planet back from the creep instead of just running from planet to planet. But there you go. All right, here we go. All six are charged and we're gonna leave. And go to the next world, I suppose.
There we go. And Draco achievement or Draco. Yeah, you can really tell that we really took down the creeper a lot in this one. Right. So Crux is the next one. Well, we'll see what's there then. I like these little maps, by the way. Yes, it is actually an uh, an overview of uh, what the level will look like. So that makes sense. Didn't really pay attention to that before, but it is helpful, I suppose. So that's the caldera, and doesn't look that strange to me. Yeah. Well, we'll see what that will be like in the next episode. See you then, folks. Bye.